What's up guys, this is Peace Sensei, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your games on your, your homebrewed Nintendo DSi. Um, the beautiful thing about the Twilight menu, which you can get after you homebrew your DSi, is not only can it play DS games from your SD card, but it also comes built in with a lot of emulators, and um, so you can play games on different systems as well, and it also comes with, with the Hypervisor GBA Runner 2, so you can also play Game Boy Advance games, and I'll be showing you how to get all that running today. Day. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, um, take your SD card out of your homebrew DSi, put it into your computer, and I'll show you guys what to do next from there. Okay, as you can see on the left, I have my DSi's SD card, and on the right, I have some games here. As you can see, uh, we have uh, some uh, NDS games. We also have some NDS homebrews. We can check to see if that works. Okay, we have um, some Sega Genesis games, some NES games. Um, and we also have a Game Boy Advance game, and of course, there's there's more there's more emulators that it, uh, it um, supports. But I'm just going to go with these. Um, don't really want to uh, test everything. Uh, but yeah, all you want to do is on your SD card, you want to go ahead and find the ROMs folder right here. All right, and as you can see, we have folders for all kinds of different systems, and these are all the systems that come built uh, that have built-in emulators with the Twilight menu. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag the appropriate games to their folders. So uh, I have my Pokemon White right here. Drag that over to the NDS folder. Let's wait for that. All right. And also any ND uh, DSi enhanced games will show the animated icon as well. Um, I have my Doom homebrew over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, from my Doom video on the for the R4, um, yeah, and you know all the all the all the homebrew that works for your uh, DS flash card should work for the DSi as well. So um, feel free to go ahead and rewatch those videos and do them for the DSi. Uh, but yeah, these are the four files needed for um, Doom, so I'm just go ahead and drag that to the NDS folder. All right, I have my Pokemon Fire Red for the Game Boy Advance. Go ahead and drag that to the GBA folder. Okay, I have Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario Bros. Just go ahead and drag that to the NES folder. And I also have Sonic the Hedgehog for the Genesis. Um, so let's go ahead and drag that to the Genesis folder. And that's pretty much it. Once you have copied all your games to the correct folder, you're pretty much good to go. So go ahead and take your SD card out of your computer, put it back into your DSi, and I'll show you guys what to do next from there. All right, once your SD card's into your DSi, you can go ahead and then turn it on. All right, now we can just go over to our NDS folder first, right here. And as you can see, our games are here, right? Um, so you have, I already had Pokemon Black here, but let's just go ahead and run Pokemon White. And uh, let's just see how, how, how let's just see um, if it works. We have the NDS Bootstrap. And as you can see, we are loading into Pokemon White. And if we look into the top, as you can see, there's absolutely no card in here whatsoever. This is all straight running from the SD card. All right, so you see we have Pokemon White here. Perfectly working. Let's just press the power button uh, to go back. Not, 
it does take a while. It probably would be faster if I had a faster SD card, but... Alright, we are back. So now we know that, that the DS games work. How about DS Homebrew? Does DS Homebrew work? Let's try that out. We have our DS Doom right here. Let's go ahead and open that. Standard game. And there we go, we have DS Doom working as well. So not only does DS games work, but also DS Homebrew works as well. There we go. So let's go ahead and press the power button again. And this time let's try out some Game Boy Advance with GBA Runner 2. Alright, so let's go back. Let's find the Game Boy Advance folder right here. Alright, we have Pokemon Fire Red right here. Let's go ahead and start it up. And there we go. Alright, so Game Boy Advance working as well. So you can see Game Boy Advance is working as well. Um, let's go ahead and try out the other things um, as well. I believe we had a NES game and we also had a uh, Super, uh, Sega Genesis game. All right, we're back here again. Alright, so now that we know that Game Boy Advance works, uh, let's go ahead and just test out um, some emulators here. Um, since GBA Runner 2 is a hypervisor, let's go to... Wait, uh, it was NES that we had. Uh, right here. And there we go, we have Super Mario Bros. Let's see if this works. Alright, there we go. Super Mario Bros. is working completely fine. Yeah, you can see uh, pretty much everything works here. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's just as easy as that. So um, that's going to do it for this, this video, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And peace.